Hey, Darren. Hey, how's it going there, Alfonso? I'm great. How are you? Excellent. Thank you very much. And I have to say it's an honor to be speaking to a triple, if not a quadruple threat. And I want to ask you about that later on. But first, um, you have been the kid in the backseat mm -hmm. and the parent behind the wheel. You've done both. So can you tell me a little bit about your history with road trips? Um, well, I'll have a, a vast history with road trips. Um, as a kid, my parents and I and my brothers, we would go from New York up to the Catskills, and uh, that was always uh, a great trip. But as a parent um, and as a young man, I used to take road trips all the time. I've gone across country with buddies. Um, I take plenty of trips uh, with, with my wife and kids. Uh, we go up to Pebble Beach. We travel around the Midwest, um, and it's a great time. It's, it's, the, it's, it's truly the best way to travel in America. Um, so I teamed up with Hampton to do the Hampton Real Travel Road Trip Hotline, um, and they put together um, a survey, and they, they asked everybody, you know, their frustrations, and a lot of it is trying to figure out, you know, how to plan a road trip and, and all of their fears, and so we are going to help people uh, tame those fears and, and help them with some answers in a fun and comic way. I have to imagine that this is your first time working as a hotline operator, or am I uh, wrong on that one? No, this is, this is the first time as a hotline operator, um, and I plan on taking my job incredibly seriously. I am going to be so not serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to ask you this legitimately, as somebody who's leaving for the airport in five, six hours. Do you have any tips for packing, for traveling, about how you like to get organized before you're about to hit the road? Well, I'm, I'm actually one of those super organized guys. I have all my tips, you know, actually, like even packing in the bag, it's better to roll in the full. Uh, that, that's one of those things that actually creates more space in the bag, weirdly enough. Um, but, uh, you know, so for me, traveling, make sure you have a plan, right? Have a plan, know exactly how you're going to do it, but be very prepared, especially on a road trip, to change those plans you know the kids they're they're they, they're ready to go they're into it and all of a sudden they're like I want out of this car so you might have to find a different hotel well on average there is a Hampton within 30 minutes of anywhere in America so you know that you can go you can get a great hotel uh, free Wi-Fi free breakfast they've got new mini waffles with cinnamon rolls a new flavor a couple other flavors but that's my one um, but you got to <laughs> be able to jump ship and change plans along the way putting you on the spot here, but do you remember the first time you stayed at the Hampton? Uh, the, I don't remember the first time, but I know I've stayed there several times. Uh, I've, I've stayed kind of pretty much all over the place at a Hampton. So um, when you're road tripping, you got to be ready to stay everywhere, and Hampton is truly one of the best places. I know I stayed, I think maybe my first time was in Portland. Wow, okay, good memory right there. And I know that your history as a New York resident had you living in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. How did you learn how to drive living in the Bronx? Well, I, I actually know how to drive once I left the Bronx, because uh, I left at, at 12, I moved to California, so I learned to actually drive in California. But I was actually a professional race car driver for a while, so um, I think learning out there at the fast freeways helped me uh, become a driver. Wow. So before I mentioned the triple threat, and for people who don't really think about those terms every day, that's the person that can sing, act, and dance. And you've been doing that amazingly since you were a kid. And I'm wondering if there's a, a career accomplishment that you're most proud of with relation to those skills. Um, I don't know if there's one. You know, I, I kind of love what I'm doing now the most. I'm, I'm a person who believes that uh, living in the present is the most important. Um, I truly believe that my whole career learning how to be a director, an actor, and a uh, performer um, has actually transitioned me into being a host, um, and I'm loving being a host. So uh, right now, I, because I'm living in the moment, I'm, I, I truly believe being a host is the most fun. Right, and that is uh, a good point there. When people talk about directing credits you have done dozens of episodes of a few different shows yes. regularly regularly working as a director and i'm curious when you figured out that you can make the transition from being an actor to somebody that hosts and directs was it a specific moment that you had that realization or is it just one job offer came in and you liked it well and, and honestly uh, honestly the directing thing uh, as i was doing uh, Fresh Prince. I ended up directing an episode of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Um, I, I always felt like I had a good understanding of both the script 
telling the story, cameras, and the acting. So um, I, I just felt a natural connection uh, to the director on the set and just wanted to give it a try. And after I did it for the first time, I knew that it was something that I wanted to continue to do. Um, Hosting is actually being the director, but on the floor, right? You're making sure that you keep the ball moving. You're keeping the show going. You're making people uh, have a good time while steering the ship. And that's kind of what a director does um, behind the scenes. So it, it was a natural transition for me. And aside from the Fresh Prince, what was the first thing that you directed? Uh, that was the first thing I directed, but then um, I, I was also on a show called In the House. I uh, directed many episodes of that, and, um, and then from there I, just, I did a bunch of Nickelodeon and a bunch of uh, Disney stuff and TBS stuff and just kept, kept going. And do you find that your skills as a parent apply to directing because you have to multitask and watch so many small moving parts? I do. I mean, obviously, as a parent, you're 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 handling everything, and that's kind of what you are doing as a director. I think uh, uh, I directed first before I became a parent, so uh, I think the uh, the directing helped being a parent. And another thing that I think is remarkable about you is when people think about you, they think positive happy thoughts. You're one of the celebrities that brings a smile to people's faces Thank in you. general. Well, that is an intended compliment. <laughs> <laughs> so ultimately, you know, what is the process of, of doing that? Does that all come naturally to you? this positivity-oriented thing? Have you always been that way? I've always been positive. I, I've always kind of been the guy who sees the glass half full rather than half empty. Um, you know, if you're happy in your life, you're going to be happy around other people. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I love my life. I've been very fortunate, and I appreciate all the things that I've had happen to me and things that I've been capable of making for myself. Um, and, and I think perspective is is the thing we we get so caught up in our own world that we stop being capable of understanding others um you know you can have a bad day but then you can go see a person who's really having a bad day and recognize that your day really wasn't that bad so um you know having that perspective to me is is what has allowed me to to live a happy life and i think happiness is is one of the most important things and that allows you to enjoy if you're able to see something half full um, it really does make it a lot easier on your life. So all of that philosophy aside, is there something that you wish more people knew about you in general? Um, you know, I don't, like I, I will say this, I don't do it for other people. I, I mean, I don't, what they know is what they know. Um, they, if there's anything, there's just know that I'm a happy guy and I'm a real guy. That's fantastic. Two more questions, please. And the first is, what's the last concert that you saw? The last concert that I saw was uh, Justin Timberlake with uh, a bunch of my friends. Uh, we all, you know, we're all members of the same golf club. And so we had a whole uh, lakeside crew go to uh, the Timberlake concert. Great answer. And any last words for the kids? Uh, the last words for the kids is, hey, when you're on a road trip and you're with your parents, enjoy it. See the world. See everything. Enjoy it. We've got great games. And if you need some games for the kids, uh, you can call 1-866-7-HAMPTON uh, or go to HamptonHotline.com. We've got great games uh, like I Spy and License Plate Game for, for people on their road trips. An honor and a privilege. Thank you so much for your time, Alfonso. You got it. Thank you, buddy. Take care.